If you're in the market for a wallet-friendly screen for work, play, or anything in between, then you probably realise that there are a lot of computer monitors to choose from. There are budget panels, super fast gaming screens, ultra wides, and so much more. Today I've got my hands on five, yes, five different computer monitors, courtesy of HP, who reached out to sponsor this video, to help you pick the best monitor that's right for you and your individual use case. Now choosing a monitor needn't actually be difficult, as realistically you just need to know what you're going to be using it for, and get something that's going to work best for your individual use scenario. A computer monitor differs from a television in that they're usually a fair bit smaller, cheaper, and then faster at processing an image signal, which cuts down on any horrible input lag. If you're watching this because you just want to know what the best budget monitor is, then I'll waste no more of your time and we'll jump straight in to the 1080p 24 inch category. It's this type of screen that you're likely to see pretty much everywhere, from families to offices to RGB gaming dens, as they just offer the best value for money. But they're not all created equally though, as cheaper monitors can use panels that just don't look that great, with flimsy stands that you're going to have to prop up with a few spare copies of old Harry Potter books that you've inevitably got lying around somewhere. My advice is to grab a VA or IPS equipped monitor rather than a TN as image quality is going to be a lot better, with better colour accuracy and better viewing angles to boot. The one we have here is HP's 24FH, a super slick IPS display that's available for roughly £150. Now this is a great looking monitor, but it doesn't forget about that stand, as it comes packing both tilt and height adjust, and this is going to let you sit comfortably at your desk and then work or play for hours at a time. If you're looking for the perfect, compact, work from home display, then look no further. But HP also wanted me to show off their latest Pavilion 27, something that is super smart. We have similar specifications here, with a vibrant 27 inch IPS panel, but we see a big step up in terms of design and features. Because unlike most monitors, the Pavilion 27 comes packing a baked in B&O speaker bar, which eliminates the need for any bulky speakers and gives a sweet and trendy look to your desk setup. You can also forget about getting caught out during those video calls again, as here we have a built in retractable webcam right behind the display, and thanks to USB-C connectivity you can connect the webcam, the display output, USB ports, speakers, all over a single cable. So those are your more everyday screens, but what if you want to spend a bit more money? How do things change? Well, your money typically goes towards making your monitor a little bit specialist, so you're getting more features, but something that is going to be more tailor-made to a particular task. The first upgrade that you're likely to see is a bump in resolution. Now this will make your image appear much sharper and more lifelike, and this becomes especially important for photographers, content creators, as you're going to want to see your work in its very best light. You're also bound to see screen sizes increase even further, with large format and ultra wides that actually can go above 32 inches, for even more on screen at the same time, which aids efficiency and immersion. HP has a really cool little, or actually quite large I suppose, screen called the HP Pavilion 32, and this offers some of the best priced performance I think you can get right now. It's Quad HD, 1440p, so it's a lot sharper than standard high definition, but it's very well priced at just over £300. This makes it a great choice for anyone that wants a larger, more practical display that's lovely to look at, but not quite as pricey as a 4K monitor. But my personal favourite type of display is actually called an ultra wide, and like the name suggests, this is ultra wide. Rather than the traditional 16x9 aspect that you've probably become accustomed to, here we're using 21x9. This allows you to have even more on your screen at the same time, and it works great for photo and video editing creative applications, as your toolbars are placed out of the way of your image, but it also works wonders for gaming, as you can get better immersed in the action. Here we have the HP 34F an ultrawide with a super sharp resolution of 3440 by 1440 which is essentially one and a half Quad HD monitors sandwiched together. It works a treat with Windows 10 snap feature, so getting work done is a breeze, but I'm unapologetically a PC gamer, and playing Planet Zoo on this thing is just incredible. If you want the ultimate gaming immersion, then it's gotta be ultrawide. Let's chat about gaming monitors though, as you might be wondering what makes a gaming display better, what exactly it can do for you, and what makes it so special. 
Well, while immersion and image quality are definitely important factors, the thing that should always go the very top of your list is responsiveness. This is made up of the input lag of the monitor itself, aka how long it takes the monitor to actually process its input signal, and then the panel response time, which is how quickly the panel can change images without blurring. The Omen X27 is among the very best gaming screens I've ever used. As it's 27 inches in size, it comes packing a beautiful Quad HD panel, yet it's as blur-free as they come, with an insanely fast 240Hz panel, which is four times faster than your average screen, and perfect for anything fast-paced, especially if you're playing competitively. But I've actually already made a full video that goes through all the different aspects of this in much greater detail though, so if you really want to learn what makes a great gaming monitor, well, great, then check out my video with the link in the top right corner of your screen to learn a little bit more. No matter what type of monitor you do decide to go for, it really is worth making sure you get one that's appropriate for what you're planning to use it for. It doesn't matter whether you're on the tightest of budgets or you've just won the lottery, if you need a gaming monitor, get a gaming monitor. If you need something for productivity, you guessed it, get something that's great for productivity. I will leave links to all of these monitors down in the description below so you can have a look at them in a little bit more detail. And if you're feeling like a little bit more PC-centric, then why not check out a video that goes through whether two screens are actually worth it. Thank you so much for watching this one though, I really appreciate it. Please hit the like button if you've enjoyed it, it really does help out. But thank you so much, don't forget to skip subscribed, check out more content, and I'll see you in the next one.